Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. In this video, I've been wanting to try out MMPOS because they introduced long-awaited NVIDIA sensor reading. And that basically means that they can see now memory temperatures in Linux. Now that is a game changer. That is something that we've been wanting to have for a long time, especially in, let's say, HiveOS. And I've confirmed that HiveOS is working on getting this implemented as well. But in today's video, I'm gonna be trying it out in MMPOS, and so I'm, I'm gonna get this going. I have played around with MMPOS in the past, maybe like two years ago, on my RX Vega 56 mining rig, and it was great, MMPOS was awesome. And so because that they have this, and also they've added Octominer support, I've been wanting to try out one rig in MMPOS, and so this rig that you can see right now in HiveOS here, this is my 3080 rig, non-LHRs, and I've been wanting to see the memory temperatures here and to see if any of my GPUs are, you know, they have higher than, let's say, 95 or 100 degrees Celsius on the memtemp as I want to change the thermal pads. But let me go ahead. Let's go through what MMPOS requires here. And I've been reading through how to download and put it on a, you know, an SSD like this. And so actually, it's, it's really the same way as putting HiveOS on an SSD. So we're just gonna do it real quick here. So I plug in my USB to SATA adapter with a brand new SSD and we'll be putting it in an Octominer. Now, back in MMPOS website here, I've already registered for an account and so if you guys are gonna do the same, feel free, I have a link down below. And now we gotta download the operating system and so we gotta get MMPOS at the top right. And it looks like they have a Windows option here, which is pretty cool. But of course, we're gonna be doing the Linux-based one so that we can see the memory temperatures. I've already downloaded the MMPOS, so you just have to click that. Okay, and we're gonna open up Belina Etcher. This is the same software we use for HiveOS for placing the image on an SSD. So we're gonna flash from file, and we're gonna double click on the MMPOS image file that we just downloaded, and it's gonna select it, and then we're gonna select the target, which is the SSD that I just plugged in, and we're gonna set select, flash, and continue, and it's gonna go yes, and there we go. I'm gonna wait for this, I'll be right back. Okay, flash is complete. I'm gonna close that. Now I'm just going to unplug it and plug it back in so that it can be acknowledged in Windows and hopefully just give it a couple seconds and I'm gonna plug it back in. There we go. Now we're gonna to go to computer manage, or disk management and we're gonna to have to give one of these a drive letter. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably this, nope, it's not that one. Uh, change drive letters, let's see if it's this one. Okay, and did that, did that work? Yes, okay, so this is where we're gonna put our rig config. Well, uh, it's actually not called rig config, it's gonna be called something else. So we're gonna go back to MMPOS, get MMPOS, and we're gonna go to the auto config tab here. And this is where it says, for complete headless install, you can generate an auto config.txt here and store it on your created USB stick. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna call this RPM3080 and password, I'm just gonna say, don't hack me RPM army. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna generate and download, and we're gonna save it onto the local disk D drive, which we just, that goes onto the SSD. So we're gonna hit save, and actually we're gonna, we're gonna take out the uh, one here, and make sure it just says auto con. Okay, hit save, and there it is. Okay, simply now, we are going to eject the SSD, the bottom here, eject, there we go. Now, I can take this out, and we're gonna plop this into my 3080 Octominer rig, which actually, I need to turn this off. I press stop, so that the temperatures start to go down. A mental screenshot here, we're just gonna remember these numbers roughly. And then we're gonna put these same, I guess, overclocks in MMPOS, hopefully. So, okay, that's good, it's off. Gonna shut down. And it's good. Let's bring the SSD to my Octominer. And it's gonna be that guy right here. And I just saw it turned off right there. 
So I'm gonna take out the original SSD and plop this one in. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna hit the power button on the OctaMiner. All right, now let's see if it shows up in MMPOS. All right, I am back at the computer and I just wanna make sure that we can see the rig in MMPOS. So I'm just gonna keep refreshing here until it shows up. Yes, there it is. Okay, it showed up. Let me click on it and oh, there we go. We got some, oh, this looks better than when I played around with it like I think uh, two years ago. So this looks good, 45 degrees Celsius, 152 watts power usage. Obviously I'm not mining anything. And here are all the GPUs. Yes, that looks good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Temperatures here, 34 degrees Celsius. Mem, mem temp, 40 degrees Celsius, 40, 40, 42, 42, 40, 40. Wow, okay, this is awesome. Look at that, the memory temperature is now here. Obviously I'm not mining, I guess the biggest thing you guys wanna see is the temperatures of it mining. One thing I noted is that I think I'm using an old version of the software. According to this, it says you are using an old agent version. Please update your rig. I saw that exclamation mark there. Okay, well guys, I'm gonna set this all up in the pools, wallets, and miner profile, whatever, all that stuff, and let me go ahead and uh, we'll see what the memory temp is while it's mining. This is exciting. Okay, I added my wallet, I added the pool, and I did my miner profile, and now we need to apply the miner profile to the rig. So we're gonna go to switch miner profile, and we're gonna do the one that I just created, and switch. And, oh, I need to do my overclocks. Okay, I need to do all my overclocks. So it looks like I can do it right here for each one. Okay, let me go ahead and do that. Okay, I just realized there is a dark mode in MMPOS, so this is much better. But here are my overclocks for most of my 3080s, for most of my ASUS TUF. So I'm using 1100 core clock, 2100 memory, and uh, if we go into one thing I found which was pretty cool, there is a force PO state. So under this blue button here, default active config, I have enabled or forced the NVIDIA P0 state. So I've noticed I'm actually getting higher mega hash numbers here, even though I'm using lower memory, and also it looks like the power consumption is a little bit lower from what I was using in Hive OS. So yeah, I'm getting 101 mega hash now, 97 mega hash, 101. Uh, these two 3080s, I think Silicon Lottery, I'm not able to go past like 14 or 1500 memory, and so they just constantly crash. And so I think I know why, and that's because you guys can see, look, we can see the memory temperatures of all of these GPUs now, and yeah, my Asus Tufts are horrible. Very, very, oh my god, 110C on this Asus Tuf 3080. Okay. I, yeah, oh my god, just looking at it now, it's it's very daunting to see these numbers. And the memory temperatures <laughs> in Linux, like in before, in Hive OS, we didn't see these memory temps, right? And now that I'm looking at it, I'm just like, oh my god, I need to change all the thermal pads of these GPUs, except for my Zotac 3080, which I just did, and that one's performing very well. Actually, the GPU core temperature is not as great as I thought. And at the top here, ASIC, you guys can probably see this. This is like the junction temperature. And I believe that my Zotac here that I just repasted and repadded, I think I used the wrong thermal pads, like the wrong size of thermal pads. And so it's not making like direct contact or good enough contact with the GPU die on my Zotac here that I just did. So it looks like I'll have to redo this and get the exact like thermal pad thickness that I need just so that the GPU die can have perfect contact with the uh, the GPU shroud essentially. So, uh, but my memory temperature is great. I mean, it could be better, but the memory temps of all my other GPUs are horrible. That is really bad. Okay, yeah, Asus is one of another company that has bad thermal pads. 
I guess as well but my goodness guys that is not great I know on the micron website their operating temperature said it is supposed to be below 105 Celsius so to see this 110 really scares me that that really scares me even though this rig is in an octaminer you can see that the GPU temps are pretty good they're generally good but it's the memory temps that it's just yeah it looks like I'll have to change the thermal pads on all of my Asus Tufts here and that is something I am not excited to do. Is there anyone out there that wants to come over and change thermal pads on not only my 3080s here, but I have a bunch of other ones <laughs> in my farm. I have a bunch of 30 series cards. Anyways guys, this is amazing that MMPOS has the memory temps in Linux now. This is, this is awesome. And I really like the web GUI now. Oh look at that, I'm getting over 800 mega hash on this rig now. I was getting less than that in Hive OS. Oh, this is great. This is really awesome. There's the power consumption. I really like this. Should I move all of my mining rigs to MMPOS? Y you guys let me know down below. Should I do that? I think this is pretty cool. And another thing though, if you guys want to try MMPOS, this is not sponsored or anything, but they just enabled it for free, I believe for a month due to what's happening in around the world, especially in Ukraine, you guys know. And so, yeah, that's awesome. I'll have a link down below if you guys wanna try out MMPOS and let me know your guys' results and if you found it pretty daunting to see your 30 series cards, memory temperatures, and even the junction temperatures. All right, that's awesome. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you all in the next video. I'm going to go ahead and order a bunch of thermal pads and just my whole, my whole life for the next year is going to be changing thermal pads. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.